work on an operation order so that we start now uh, collecting the guns that are in uh, illegal hands and uh, we are going to ensure that we do our best to let the people who are holding firearms and they are not licensed to have firearms. So for this region, it's 7th of March. That is the deadline. And we will not extend the deadline even for an hour. After 7th of March, we'll be done with Nairobi. We will publish by end of this week the schedule for the rest of the regions in the country and how uh, it is going to be done elsewhere. You can see that the exercise is being done meticulously, uh, as, as it were. Uh, records are being checked, uh, firearm holders are taking their firearms to CID headquarters to the DCI for ballistic tests and uh, we are requiring firearm holders to bring a certificate of psychiatric test. Then thereafter they are issued with a license. That is how it is supposed to be done according to the law. There is nothing we have invented. We are following the act. That is how it is supposed to be done according to the law. The reason why we have some of these challenges is because it was not done that way in the past. Uh, and I have to be very honest and say it's unfortunate that because of some of the things we have done uh, in the past, some firearms may have ended up in uh, the wrong hands, either because people uh, came and compromised the system and got firearms even before they were tested or the, before they appeared physically before the board. Because the law requires that firearm holders appear before the board physically. That's where people come here before this board. So that the board knows who actually is licensed. And then that they have an opportunity to be uh, tested. They have an opportunity to uh, present themselves. They get a psychiatric test and so on and so forth. So that then they are legitimately certified to hold a fire. I need to say two things. One, our fellow Kenyans who hold firearms, there is nothing wrong with you holding a firearm in a legal way because the law allows you to do that. Because if you feel that you need a firearm, uh, depending on the business you do and whatever you do, uh, if you feel you need one, the law is there to ensure that you do so legally. And then you are assisted because we our security agencies assist to train firearm holders so that you, you can be assisted to know how to use a firearm. So we are not doing this because we are victimizing anyone. We are doing this because we would like to live in a legal and lawful manner. That if you feel like you need to own a firearm, there is nothing wrong. As a citizen of this country, the law allows you to do that, provided you apply and you do so in a legitimate manner. Number two, we are doing this because we want to know who are the lawful or legitimate firearm holders. Because you and I know, and I'm not going to pretend, that there are people who have brought small arms into the country, some of them very serious arms into the country, illegally. These are criminals. Because when crimes are committed, if Mr. Kinoti was here, he would tell you, uh, the CID and our police teams begin working around to figure out which firearm was used and tracing uh, the criminals. There are crimes that have been committed in the country that we have not resolved as yet because we do not have a proper record of even the genuine firearm holders. That's why we are doing this. At the end of this exercise, when it's done, by the end of April when we have done the whole country, we will have an electronic record of firearm holders and the firearms in private hands. So if any one of those arms commits a crime, it will be very easy for the CID to know, uh, you know uh, which weapon was used in a particular case, which makes it much easier for us to do what we are doing. So we are doing this also to facilitate our safety and security. My last call to citizens of the country is that if you, by any chance, are holding a firearm illegally, there's going to be a moratorium. Now, we will not judge you in a court of law. If you surrendered the firearm, you brought it here, or you took it to a police station nearest to where you stay and surrendered the firearm to the police, wherever you are. But when we are done with the moratorium, 
you know what the law says. It is illegal, it's a crime to carry a firearm without appropriate license. In that respect, I'd also like to caution some people. There are people, the law prescribes what class of firearms you can carry. Fortunately for you, today you came, you have seen the kind of firearms that these good people uh, have collected. Some of them are specialized firearms that under the law are only supposed to be carried by a KDF, for example. And so you are not allowed to have those semi-automatic, uh, you know, shiny guns and so on and so forth. So let us be facilitative to the police and our security sector colleagues so that they can provide security to all of us. This is being done in good faith so that we can provide safety and security to our people. And I'm asking all the members of the public, if you know your neighbor, you know, or your friend, 